Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Perfect Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP CLI tutorials. This is our part number two. Inside this video session, guys, we will see about WP CLI command list. Also, we will download about WordPress setup using our CLI command. In the last video means in first part, we had seen all about the basic installation of WordPress CLI to our local system. So firstly, we want all the commands that we can use by using our terminal. So for commands, if I back to browser, now this is all about the official website of WPCLI.org. Inside this, here we have a tab called commands. Click on this menu. After menu, we are now redirected on developers.org, CLI and commands. Instead of going WPCLI, click on this link, pasting it here. This is all about developer website of WordPress. Scroll here and here we have a WPCLI section. Click on WP means run commands and here is the list. So by the help of two different ways, we are on the same page. So if we won't go to terminal and in the last video, we had done all about our CLI installation to verify, we need to type WP and info. This is all about the information of WordPress CLI installed. Now let's say that if we want to get all the available commands inside this WP CLI, how can we check that? So simply type WP and press enter. Now inside this, we have typed as WP a description something manage WordPress through command line. This is synopsis and inside this command, this will be a placeholder. Dynamically, we can put our command name and here is all the available subcommands like admin, cache, cap, CLI, comment and so on. So step by step, we will discuss inside this playlist about each command of this list. If I scroll down and here we have different different commands as well as if I scroll, we have some global parameters like path, URL, SSH, HTTP and so on. So let's say that and also here we have called run help. Let's say that if we want to if we want a help from some command, let's say at the initial stage, I am not able to run any WordPress CLI command. Means, how can we run any WP CLI command? I have no idea. So, how can we get the documentation of each command? So, simply, according to the syntax, what it has provided, we need to type all about WP help and here is the command name. So, if I back to slide, open a new tab so let's say that wp help is the syntax and after we need to put our command name so let's say that we want all the details of using core and here we have a command called core inside this core it will downloads installs updates and manages our wordpress installation so i want all the detailed concept or all the detailed documentation of this core command so simply what we have to do we need to write wp help and here is the command name so simply if i copy and to quit from this veto i am pressing ctrl c and as we can see that we are now outside of this wp command list so simply i am going to type wp help core it will give the documentation means a help guide according to this command so pressing enter now here as we can see that we have a name called wp core its description all about downloads installs updates and manages our wordpress installation synopsis means how can we use like wp core and here we have to provide our command name means this command has also a sub command list like here we have to write either check update download install is installed and so on 
so here is the sub command as well as its documentation means few lines of comment by the help of that we can understand each command clearly so here we have some examples provided like if we want to download our WordPress setup here we have to write called WP core download and here we need to provide the local as a flag and this is all about local like NL underscore capital NL this is for the Dutch language now if we don't pass this local flag inside this command this is going to be download about the default setting of WordPress now if we want to get all the local string what is available right now so if I go to slide and inside this we have a URL and inside this URL we can find all about the complete list WordPress local codes back to browser open to this tab pressing here and as we know that if we will pass the local inside this command it is going to download that otherwise it is going to be download English as the standard if I back here to the command list and inside this as we can see that here we have called the language name language code as well as WordPress local code so if we search about NL underscore NL and here as we can see that it is going to be download Dutch from here it means the WordPress installation we will get it will be in Dutch language so let's say that we are not going to download this WordPress setup inside this Dutch language instead we want an English language so by default it is going to pick automatically if we don't pass this local flag inside this command so at the first stage we are going to download the WordPress setup by the help of WPCLI command so if I copy this command and get rid of this window from here and simply what I will do let's say WP help and as we know that the command we have called core and this is sub command called download so if I press enter again we have the documentation of WP core download as we can see that the name is WP core download downloads core WordPress files and here is the synopsis like WP core download and these are the parameters we can pass with this download so few steps behind we have seen that by the help of this local flag we have put our own local flag so that while downloading our WordPress setup the language code what we will pass here it is going to download that WordPress setup inside this local string about these parameters we can find all about the details inside this options section as well as if we want some few examples and here is the example provided all about the global parameters so this is well documentation so that we don't need any documentation from any of the website simply go inside this terminal it has provided a step-by-step -step guide to use WPCLI also if we don't want this documentation from this terminal back to browser go to this command list and here we can find all the commands what we have seen inside this terminal all listed here so we have discussed so far about WP core and inside this WP core click on that link and we can find all the same details inside this document and here is the available sub commands we can see here so let's say that we are going to run our first CLI command that is WP CLI core download it means we are going to download about our WordPress setup so while downloading any WordPress setup via WP CLI it is going to download about the latest version from this website so right now inside this WordPress we have 5.4 available so back to terminal get rid of that so clear the terminal first so let's say WP so we need to redirect inside any of the WP directory so if I back to my folder structure 
So right now inside this WP CLI folder, what we have made inside this HTML folder, right now there is no file inside this. So if I copy the path, go to terminal, if you go inside this directory because we want that this folder will be our WordPress setup folder. So let's say WP go download. Now by pressing enter this time we are not going to pass any locale here. So by default it is going to download about English language. So pressing enter. Now as we can see that it is going to download about WordPress 5.4 version and this is all about locale string value. So if I copy this back to WordPress like this locale list and search here. So this is going to download about by default in English language. Back to terminal and here we can see that our WordPress setup downloaded successfully. So if I press ls here to list all the files inside this directory called wp-cli and inside this we can find our also back to directory structure and here we have called a wp admin folder, wp content, wp includes. So apart from these three folders of WordPress we have all the rest files what we need inside WordPress. So inside this as we can see that we have no WP config file. Also, no database connected. It means that right now there is no database connection for this folder, no WP config file, as well as no installation. By typing this WP code download, only we have downloaded our WordPress setup from WordPress repository. In the next video, we will see that. How can we set our database? How can we install this WordPress setup to our local system? And also how can we generate wpconfig.php file? And this we will do all by the help of wpcli command list. We are not going to even log in to our WordPress site. All we will manage like create post, create page, comments, users and so on by using this WPCLI interface. So inside this video session guys, if you have a doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.